What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff from the Runner. Let me tell you a little bit about what we do here at RDR Gear. We are a soft goods manufacturer. We specialize in plate carriers, placards, chest rigs, our safari and holster wraps, and holster mods and holster accessories. You can find all of that on our website at rdrgear.com. You can also see all of our products on our Facebook and Instagram, RDR Gear for both of those. So let's talk about the P226. This pistol is iconic in many ways. This pistol is iconic from the time it was used in the Navy SEALs and other law enforcement attributes and different agencies around the country who ran the SIG products. Almost all of them ran the standard 226, the double action, single action. Very few of them ran the single action pistol or the single action version of the 226. And that's what the SAO stands for, single action only. This pistol, when the hammer is down, the trigger is dead, it does not work. Um, you have to charge the pistol, the hammer will stay back, the safety will go on. Uh, the safety uh, is something that I really think that every 2011, especially Staccatos, should take some homework from SIG. If you guys notice right here, how well this is blended. This right here is one of the things that really makes this pistol stand out in a single action only uh, format. Because once you grip this pistol, there are no hot spots on the index side. There are no hot spots on the thumb side. It is a super well blended safety. Phenomenal aspect. Uh, one of the pros and, well, I should say one of the cons, but I'm gonna get back to that in a minute. This pistol, once the safety comes off, this trigger is lights out. It is, it is literally, you guys will see, we're at the wall, break, reset, right there. That's it. It is phenomenal. Uh, you'll see some of the groups we shot today, some of the rounds we were stacking around, some were in the same hole. Uh, there are, this gun is just phenomenal. So when you look at the 226, the one thing about this pistol that's different from, say, this one is that this is this gun's about four years old, and this was sent to us by guns.com. They're supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. This gun here is the first generation of the Legion 226 SAO. You'll know that because this gun here is not optics cut, where the second gen is optics cut. There's a slight difference in grip texture and colorization through here, um, and there's something a little bit different in the safeties. Um, this safety here is, it's, it's pretty tactile and pretty stiff. It's very difficult to get the safety back up. And when it comes back down, it's just a bit mushy. The newer version, all day, it's a super easy, much more tactile finish and fitment on the safety. Same blended version. Um, I just feel that there might have been some uh, consideration in regards to when the uh, RDO version came out that this was addressed as well. Because this gun, even though it comes from guns.com, the certified used guns program, this pistol is damn near brand new. Um, and after feeling the safety on this one, that might have been maybe why the seller moved on from this one and upgraded it. But I feel that that could have been fixed easily by sending it back to SIG. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the safety is one of the things that I really don't like. This pistol here, I love the sights. The x-ray sights are phenomenal. Um, that transferred over the second generation pistol. Of course, the upgraded red dot sight options for the plate there, they all come cut for the Delta Point Pro or the P320 options. Uh, Grip texture, I believe they're the same. These feel a little different than the second generation pistol. Uh, mags are standard capacity. Uh, this gun here in particular is a 10 round gun, not a big deal. Front strap checkering, rear checkering, and then under the trigger guard here. So all the little things that make SIGs stand out. Other cool thing on these, if you owned this one, you can get the RDS slides from SIGs website. They are set up to the non-fancy uh, lightning cut versions um, are ones you can get without a red dot. The standard 226 factory slide that's on the TAC Ops, for example, if you see my TAC Ops video, you'll see that in there and I'll put that one up in the uh, cards on the final video. 
but uh, that slide will slap onto this and you're good to go. That's one of the things I learned from the 226 is that it doesn't have much to do with the top of the pistol. The single action only portion of the pistol is in the uh, frame itself. So that was super cool. You can mix and match on that aspect. If you don't have a newer version, you can upgrade uh, the slide only and that's gonna help you guys out. So at the end of the day, you guys, um, final thoughts on this pistol. I don't really have much. I mean, me being a gun tuber, this gun is iconic in many ways. Just the single action only version gives you very similar trigger to a 1911 or 2011 pistol. You don't have the price point entry of those pistols. You get a little bit of an easier concealed carry gun. Uh, you get the same single action, ambi safeties, mag release is the same. Trigger is phenomenal with the flat face. Uh, you really can't go wrong if you want that single action only. Uh, this also does fit all of our P226 Safarland holster mods. You, so the holster mod for the 226 holster on our website, it will fit the SAO version and the DASA version or attack ops, for example. Um, it'll fit both pistols, same holster, no problem. So you're good to go there. Uh, as always guys, uh, if you like the channel and you've made it this far into the video, like, share, subscribe. Subscriber, we really wanna get those subscriber numbers up this year, but uh, by subscribing, commenting, interacting with the channel, it's gonna train your YouTube algorithm to show you more two-way friendly content like your RDRS page and other gun content that you wanna see. Until then, be well, take care.